Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing? Hi, Virgo. How are you? Welcome to my channel. This is Positive Thoughts and Energy. Thank you, subscribers. Thank you, new viewers, cross watchers. Everyone, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever you watch this channel. Uh, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it does not resonate, do not take it with you, okay? Also, you, you apply the gender roles in your life and reverse the roles in your life how they fit, okay? So, this is affirmations for my Virgos. This is for my Virgos. Isn't that beautiful? This is Virgo the Virgin. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, Holy Spirit, what affirmation for Virgos? What is the affirmation for my Virgos? Affirmation for Virgos. Okay. All right. First card is don't quit, Virgo. Don't quit. Whatever you're thinking about doing, Virgo, don't quit. If it's positive, if it's if it's if it's act as if it's as if it's challenging and things are coming at you, spirit is saying don't quit. Beautiful. One more card for Virgo spirit. One more card for my Virgos. Oops, too many cards. Virgo. This is for Virgo. Oh, Virgo, that's you. You have a lot to say, Virgo. This is for Virgo. Affirmation for Virgo. <laughs> this is for my Virgos. First card came out for Virgos is don't quit. Don't quit, Virgos. Do not give up. It's something that you're about to give up on. Spirit is saying do not quit. Okay? Do not quit. Right, there we go. Okay. Virgos. That's who is here. Virgos the Virgin. The last card is, I got this from another sign. I can't remember. What doesn't kill you will only make you stronger. Spirit has said, don't quit. Something you're thinking about quitting, don't do it. What doesn't kill you will only make you stronger. There's a lesson in everything. Do not quit. Thank you, Spirit. It's for my Virgos. Spirit, Holy Spirit, what affirmation for Virgos? Affirmation for Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. Affirmation for Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. Affirmation for Virgos. All right. Spirit, Holy Spirit, what affirmation for Virgos? Affirmation for Virgos. Thank you. Affirmation for my Virgos. Affirmation for Virgos. Okay. Okay. Two cards popped out. Okay. First card is Embrace Virgo. Embrace. It says, I embrace the power of love and the magic of the universe as I walk my new path of self-discovery and develop high vibrational relationships. Embrace, embrace what it is that you're doing. Don't quit, embrace it. It may seem like it's not working out, if it's, if it's panning out. Spirit is saying, embrace it, don't quit. And the other card is grounded. A lot of you need to be grounded. A lot of you need to, you're not grounded. Um, and Virgos are very grounded earth people. But uh, maybe your ground is off. Uh, as some say, you know, just walk around in the get grass barefooted or go to the beach or something. But you need to be, you, your body need to connect to the earth. Okay, your feet, your body needs to connect to the earth because Virgos, that is earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Okay, so you need to work on grounding yourself. Spirit is saying you need to work on grounding yourself. I am grounded, connected, and clear minded with all relationships in my life. When you're grounded, you're very clear, you're very clear um, on all aspects of your life relationships, health, everything. But you need that groundness so you can have 
even more clarity. Okay, Virgos? That's what you need to work on. Embrace and ground yourself. Spirit said, what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. And do not quit. Don't quit. Okay? Don't quit. Spirit, Holy Spirit, this is for Virgo spirit. What message is for Virgos? This is for the Virgos. This is for Virgos, October 2020. This is for Virgos, October 2020. Virgos, thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Virgos, October 2020. Virgos, October 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Virgos, October 2020. October 2020, Virgos. Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, Holy Spirit, White Light, Archangels, Virgos. What message is for Virgos? All right, Virgos, there's a tower moment. The tower is here to knock off things that no longer serve you anymore. There is some type of completion that is about to happen in your life. The tower moment is all about knocking things out of your life that no longer serve you, no matter what it is. But it also can mean there is something very surprising, something that can be very shocking that's coming your way as well. Okay? That's the bottom of your deck. Yeah, this is forward movement. Um, um, it can, it can um, be talking about traveling or someone traveling towards you that's going to shock you, surprise you. This is forward movement. Okay? Forward movement. It's someone that you walked. It's someone that you walked away from. This is someone you walked away from. This person is coming forward. You you could have walked away from someone. I don't know. You walked away from someone. King of Wands. King of Wands is someone that is adventurous, someone that is um, loves the outdoors, someone that is passionate. You're very defensive. You're protecting your territory. You're protecting what you love and who you love. Or this person that's coming towards you, that's a charity movement, they are very protective of who they love and they're they're defending themselves and they're protected of who they love. I don't think you're going to see this coming. That's why I feel like, Virgo, this is going to be surprising to you. This is going to shock you. You're not going to see this coming. Either that or you, 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 you I, don't, I don't think you're going to see it coming. Or you, you, your heart is going to be blocked or you're going to be just at a stalemate. You, you, you're not going to know what to do. That's what I feel. Because, yeah, you cut this person out of your life at one point in time. But this person has had an enlightenment. That they have had an enlightenment that you that you are their soulmate. And they're coming to you. They're coming to you to offer true love to you. This person has had an enlightenment. This, this wheel of fortune, the wheel is turning. The person is, the wheel is turning uh, in your favor. Good luck, good fortune in your favor. A missed opportunity, maybe before you just didn't trust this person. Because I see you very defensive. You didn't trust this person. Maybe this person just didn't seem, seem true to you. But the, the spirit, the divine is bringing this good luck, good fortune back around to you. The wheel is turning. It tells me that Maybe this person at the time you walked away from or cut this person out of your life, this person might have been married. Some of you, it could have been an older person or some of you could have been a younger person with very wise. But I really feel like the reason why you walked out this person's life, you walked away from this person because they were married. But they're coming back. Right? 
that's what's going to shock you. That's what's going to surprise you. This person is very passionate about you, Virgo. And here you are, the Queen of Wands. This person sees you as full of life, self-sufficient. This, this person sees you now. They're like, they can't believe it. They can't believe it. Not only do you have the Queen of Wands, you have the King, you have the King of Wands. You both are power couples. Whether you know it or not. This person coming in, they, they're very secure. This person's very dependable. Or this is going to be a very secured, secured um connection yeah this person is welcome challenges this person wants to build with you but it shows me that you have healed from this person you wait on you wait on you wait on your ships to come in you wait on something else someone or something else yeah you wait on something else there's no love yeah you wait on a new beginning you wait on something new, something fresh, new emotions. That's what you're waiting on. It looks like that you're not going to take this person. You have healed from this person. You wait on the future. You waiting on something new, something fresh, a new birth, a new life. And you waiting patiently for that person to come in. You're not going to take this person. Yeah, because you don't want to feel left out in the cold anymore. Yeah, this person, you know... This person had a, the ego or they were, you know, they were around a lot of negative people. But you, you, you don't want to feel left out in the cold anymore. Yeah. Yeah, it, it looks like whoever this is that you have healed from. And you're waiting on your ships to come in. You're waiting on somebody else. Because if either this person, you found that this person was had, was married, that's why you walked away from this person, because you found that this person was married. And now they want to come back. But no, you're waiting on a new emotions, new love, because you have healed from this person. This person hurt you enough. And you're waiting on your ships to come in. You're waiting on something or someone else to come in with new emotions, that's a new balance, new emotions, new love. And you're going to wait patient. You're waiting on balance and harmony. You're waiting patiently on your new on the new person. Yeah, you're not you're not going to take this person back. This person very, very passionate about you. They see you. They see how full of life you are. They see how beautiful you look. They, they just overwhelmed. And now they want to come in and they want to offer. They have had an enlightenment. Now they realize after all that that you were their soulmate. And now they want to come in and offer true love. And that's why you're standing defensive. You're protecting your heart. You're protecting. At first I thought maybe you weren't. You're probably not going to see it coming. That's dead gone for sure. But the tower, the tower cut this person out of your life for a reason. But sometimes the will of fortune, the divine, will bring it back around and see if you have learned your lesson. That's what also I'm, I'm getting to download as well. Because in the beginning, the tower was cutting things out of your life no longer served. The tower, the tower ended this. But at the same time, you could be shocked and surprised because you are shocked and surprised because obviously you haven't heard from this person in a long time. So also the will of fortune, divine bringing this back around to you. And sometimes when the divine bring things back around to you, it sees it it, it it tells the divine the spirit to see if you have really learned your lesson from this person. And it shows me that you have learned your lesson. You're not going to take this person back. You have healed from this person. You have healed from this person. You're waiting on someone else with new emotions, and you're going to be patient. And someone that's going to balance, you're not, you're not taking it. And the reason why you're at a stalemate and your heart is guarded, because you have to protect your territory, protect your heart. Because this person, this person really hurt you really bad. They were married. That's why you walked out of this person's life. That's why you cut this person cold turkey, cut this person out of your life because they were married. The three cars is right here, how it, how it came out. You walked away from this person. 
You cut them out of your life. You didn't want to deal with them because you found out they were mad. Now they want to come back. Now they want to come back. And now they want to. They have had an enlightenment and realized that you are their soulmate. Not only are you their soulmate, they want to come in now and offer true love. But you're not taking it. And sometimes the divine does that to see if we have learned our lesson. If we have really truly healed. They will present. They will present. Bring it back around to you again to see. At one point in time, you did not think that you, you did not think you was going to make it through this. It almost killed you. You like literally, it hurt your heart, really hurt your heart, Virgo. But you didn't give up and you didn't quit. You continue to heal. You continue to heal because the card came out. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords in reverse. And you're waiting on new emotions, new beginnings. Someone that's going to be harmony and balance and sync with you. So you definitely closed off from this person and defensive. You're not taking it. Congratulations, Virgo. You have grown. Until next time.